So your dad and I were talking and we decided that we should all go out as a family, maybe see a show or have some dinner. We've really been drifting apart. And your dad feels very strongly that- Mom, mom, I'm sorry, I can't take this anymore. People keep making fun of us because our dad is a raisin. Yeah. Last week, Chloe took an entire box of raisins, poured it into her mouth, and said, Hey, Michelle, hope I'm not eating one of your cousins. And all my friends keep asking me why I've never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So why couldn't you just have married a normal human person? Because I fell in love with a beautiful red grape. What does that even mean? You have no idea what it was like growing up as a young girl in the California wine country in the late 60s? What? Oh, your father came from the most celebrated vineyard in all of Napa Valley. He had a full scholarship to a winery in Bordeaux. I was powerless to his charms. You kind of just sound like an alcoholic. But did he go to that winery in France? No. He chose to settle down with me and start a family because that is just the kind of man he is. And now, that plump, moist body is all wrinkled and dried up. Just think about everything that he sacrificed for you. Okay, how did you even have kids, anyway? It was very hard, I'll admit. But we tried, and we tried, and eventually, with the help of a very friendly witch doctor. We were able to have you two. Okay, so not only is our dad a piece of dried fruit, but we're the offspring of blood magic? Do you have any idea just how hard it is for a raisin to produce human semen? I would have thought it was impossible. Exactly. So you two should count yourselves lucky. Lucky? Mom, he doesn't even have a name. Our last name is Raisenberg. Which you just made up because you assumed Dad is Jewish. You look me in the eye and tell me your father doesn't look Jewish. I don't know how you expect me to respond to that. Michelle, remember when you got cut from the field hockey team? Your father was the first person... Not a person. The first person to comfort you and to tell you to get back out there and keep practicing. And Ricky, who taught you to drive last year? Driver's Ed instructor? Yes, but your father was by your side the whole time giving you support. That man would do anything for you two. I still remember the movie theater candy instead of 96. I mean, what kind of kid loses their dad in a box of raisinets? I am so careful, very sorry, Daddy. Michelle, he's very delicate. I guess you're right. They'll have to hear it sooner or later. Uh, who are you even talking to right now? Dad, you idiot, can't you hear him? Please, I thought you were on my side. Kids, your dad doesn't have a lot of time left. He was looking especially shrivelly, so we took him to a sommelier who told us that he's far exceeded the average lifespan of a raisin and... Gregory, I can't tell them. I can't. You have to do it. That was literally 30 seconds of silence while you played dramatic music. Your father is dying, Ricky. Oh my god. It's... It's not dying, it's a piece of fruit. You know what? I'm... I can't take this anymore. I'm going to my room. Hello? Aunt Helen? Hello?